so in this video i am going to let you know how you are going to manage your uh, negatively worded item for example in this questionnaire this is uh, the questionnaire taken from edward zigger yale personality questionnaire and these are four items i intend to keep the thoughts feelings or products to myself i spend more time alone the individual is too familiar with this uh, is too familiar with stranger and i do not isolate myself now these two question these two item actually this these four item are of the questionnaire uh, sub part introversion or extroversion so anyone who is agreeing to these two item uh, is more of an introvert than the one who is agreeing to these two so for example if i am an introvert i will be saying agree i will be agreeing to this one i will also be agreeing to this one but i will be disagreeing to these two the, for example i am too familiar with these strangers so if i am too familiar with these strangers that means i am i am an outgoing person i am an extrovert so i will definitely as a respondent mark this one as strongly disagree and this one i do not isolate myself so that means i am an extrovert person but in fact i am an introvert person so since i am an introvert i will mark this as strongly disagree so these two items if these four items are representing introversion then these two items are negatively coded or negatively worded for introversion so however these the the questionnaire is you know has been adopted or adapted so we just can't do anything about it so what we have to do we are just going to uh, distribute this questionnaire to, to all the respondents they will uh, reply they will respond to this and this is how their responses should be like for these two for an introvert person these two be these two items should be on the agree side and these two items should be on the disagree side and these two items for this particular introvert introversion uh, questionnaire are negatively worded so how are we going to treat them in the spss so i am just for this particular uh, respondent i am going to put these values these responses and i am going to just let you know how you can respond so let's have a look at this one uh this particular i this is independent variable 2 fourth item so the third item so independent variable b and third item we can see that the respondents have responded in a particular way so we want to invert them so for example if i am Uh, this this respondent has strongly disagreed to this particular item so i have to invert it to make it strongly agree so that my analysis do not go wrong so how am how am i going to invert all of these items responses of the item so that is very much easy all i have to do is to go to the data in the data in the transform and in the transform this is recode into different variables we can also use this one but i am in this video i am going to let you know how can we use uh, this particular command to invert the item so i want this particular variable to be inverted the new variable name would be invert independent variable b 3 and what about the old and new values the old value of 5 should be replaced with the new value of 1 at the old value of strongly uh, of agree should be renewed with disagree the neutral is going to remain neutral the old value of this agree should be inverted to agree and strongly disagree has to be replaced with strongly agree add continue 
we are going to press this change and now this variable will be converted the new name will be this one and we are going to see that a new variable will be formed here press ok the command has been executed and we can see that the invert independent variable b3 item has been inverted so let's have a look at this one this was the real one so we commanded it to convert this one into five this one all ones into fives fours into twos ones into fives and there is no other value than one and five so this is how we have been able to convert our uh, to treat our negatively worded item or negatively negatively coded item into a positively coded one thank you very much for watching this video in the coming video i'm going to let you know how we can find out the normality of our variable if you have any questions you can ask those questions in the uh, in the in the chat box in the uh, in the comment section thank you very much